Welcome back, everyone. Today, I'm going to be giving you a quick update to the caption recaption project. So I'm retooling it mainly because what I want to do is I want to create myself a tool that's going to give me the ability to write text prompts for video generators. And obviously, this setup works great. So just to give you a quick rundown, we have the name of the uh, folder, which is going to be saved into the project folder. We have the path, which is where the images are currently stored. I have one of my showcase folders selected. So that means just like all of the better images, which I took from the last couple of weeks. And these have already been upscaled to 4K, even though that doesn't really matter too much, because it's going to automatically scale any image you put into a video generator, usually down, not up. Um, we're using one Vision Quen 27B until I find a better one. I'm using int eight because that is going to give you a bit more headroom for doing more complex things later on. Um, we always start the image index at zero, which is the first image in the folder, which you picked here. Okay. So that would be the path to my folder, right? Of images. I usually just copy it from the address bar at the top. I just copy, I copy, uh, copy that. Yeah. Uh, we have it on increment so that it's going to go through to the next one. And then if I just pick, this has got 229 in items. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I can go for 229 new jobs. All right. Here is the image, which it just processed. Okay. And it's on single image mode. Let's see. Is there anything else? I don't think I need to tell you anything else from here. Uh, the image resize is just for the copy. So, sorry, is to make sure it doesn't give a 4K image to one vision here. Okay. And then the full size image, I believe the full size. Yeah, the full sway. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually going to use my image size adjuster to find the, the safest. Um, in fact, I need to change this to 4096. Ha, 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 ha. Well, I haven't published it yet, have I? So 4096, slight difference from the early edition there, guys. So mm, there we go, makes it bigger. And then, but to be honest, I'm not really trying to take the images. It's just so that when they're stored, you have the file along with the prompt. Now, I have just been copying the image prompt and then putting it straight into things like runway, things like uh, high Luo AI beta. Um, this is pretty cool. Like I say, I think this is actually one of my cog video prompts, but, uh, this one is an image which I generated with flux with the black sun model. And then I've used a cog three, a cog video prompt from the sci-fi prompt list to test it. And then if I go back, it, yeah, I think it's on a different screen because I logged in with the wrong account by accident. So let's have a look at this one. I haven't seen this one yet. Oh, okay, cool. So here is the prompt, which was created by the workflow. Here is the image, which I got out of my gallery. And this is what it's done with it. So. Sometimes it can be a bit tricky to come up with a good prompt for an image that you've already made. And if you're already happy with it, then it probably makes sense to just make some process. And that's what I did here. I think I did it with Claude. Yeah, did it with Claude. So just to give you an idea, these are the example prompts. So where did I get those from? I got those from here, Cog Video. These are the example prompts that were given out with the, by the author. And I've used those to train. So let's see. I need to create a clean distilled prompt for a vision AI model that will look at an image and then create a detailed video prompt, which adheres to the rules set out in the examples. So when I say rules, I mean there's a specific cadence and structure to the video prompt to take full advantage of the video model. Now, this is a loose prompt generator. You could fine tune it so that it's going to be hooking into things that a particular platform uses. So just to give an idea, if, for example, Runway had a preference to provide some kind of like lens format first, you might want to adjust the prompt so that it 
takes care of that factor. Okay. Now I'm making these loose so they'll go into just about anything because I'm wanting to test how good they are. Because, like I said, this sort of artwork which I'm looking at is not typical and is very unlikely to have anything like that in the uh, training set. So let me just see. So, as you can see, this being a very sort of specific type of artwork it's not really going to be in the model memory and so it's going to struggle however that's not necessarily a bad thing there's a lot we can do once we actually have some frames to play with so you know look at this as a sort of multi-stage project but really what i'm trying to do is give you this workflow so that you've got the ability to quickly create very detailed prompts based on the image that you already wanted to animate so instead of, you know, just having some good prompt lists and coming up with stuff on the fly or off the top of your head, you'll be able to have some kind of consistent structure, some kind of consistent approach towards your images. And in that way, you're going to get better video outputs at the end, or at least they'll be more consistent anyway. And it saves you a lot of time because, like I said, I think I queued about 100 of these and went and got my breakfast. <laughs> and so now I've come back to them and now it's like, struggling to wait for the queue to finish because it is a very popular one but i'm going to be jumping around different platforms i got credits at a few places so we're going to test this out so that's going to be this workflow um an extremely short video today but there'll probably be more like this as i'm switching up gears and getting back on the horse so enjoy the uh link is going to be up on so that these workflows there's not going to be a major pack update on civic ai for a couple of days while i get everything back up on up and running but certainly you'll be able to get them from the github so if you roll on over to the github you're going to find out that uh it's all there i'll make sure that uh, any prompt lists are updated in djz nodes and the actual workflows will be in DJZ workflows. They're going to be photo flux, most likely. So you can have a look in there. Probably they'll be under captioning tools because I these prompt generators are a lot like it's like a caption tool, really. We're just giving it a slightly different prompt. So I have also got a new repository, which I announced the other day, which is LLM based prompts. You know, technically, one vision is an LLM, so technically, there should be a, a reference to this in here. And then we've got a sing single place to go and get them as well without needing to pull all of my workflows or all of my nodes and everything else. All right. That's just about everything I've got for you. A short one, but hopefully we'll be back tomorrow with more. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Penetrate your dollar at me. Don't be. 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 Don't